Yo, what's up, y'all? You ready for another episode of Below LA? Let's do this! Below LA! Okay, y'all, now here's the scoop, all right? I'm at the Tahunga Wash right now, just south of Sherman Way. Now, you're familiar with the Tahunga Central Branch Wash, as I've talked about that many times already. This place is very similar, okay? You have a couple combining points meeting the Tahunga Wash. Right at this location, unlike the Tahunga Central Branch, you have an underground tunnel coming in here and you also have an outside channel coming in. In the underground portions, what you get is you get the things that are able to fit down into the storm drain inlets on the streets, okay? You can't fit a shopping cart into that. Look behind me. Look at this. I was gonna walk along this edge, but that's just not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to actually go down in here in the freaking trash zone. Look at your clogged outlets over here, okay? Remember how the Tahunga Central Branch had open outlets, okay? Saw that there were no shopping carts clogging those outlets. Wow. This is when they're completely clogged. Okay. They're all clogged, actually. Let's get back to the caca. Look at this, man. Look at this. Trying to pass over this here. I don't want to fall over, dude. Or you can get spiked on one of these right here. Dude, did you know what's trending right now? Did you know? Shocking cards in the storm drain channels! Oh my gosh! What? There's our secondary channel over here, this one. And look at it, the gate's all shredded. Totally gone. Yeah, it's a perfect place to just dump a shopping cart right over, you know what I mean? Just see, right here, just dump one right over, dude. That noise you probably heard right now. Probably a shopping cart going in right as we speak, buddy. Look at this lovely freaking dump, you know. Just dump your, dump your trash wherever you want, you know. It doesn't matter, you know. Somebody will come pick it up, right? You know, get rid of your work boot. Just throw it over in the damn river, dude. Freaking who cares, dude? Why not, man? You ain't gonna fight with one of your buddies living over here. You just throw them right over in the river, dude, you know? Play Who a wants to play called? a game called? Count the shopping shopping carts. Okay, folks, the way you play the game is simple. You just use your freaking brain and you count how many shopping carts you saw. Not off with number one. There's number two, number three, four, and five. Six right there. Home Depot, number seven. That's number eight there. That's Home Depot, number nine. Home Depot, number ten, actually. 11, 12, Home Depot number 13 over there, Home Depot number 14. Home Depot's really losing here on the whole shopping cart game, okay? Even the 99 cent store now has these little poles that go up, so like if you try and get out the door real quick with your stuff, you know, it like hits the top, okay? So we do have a 99 cent store shopping cart. There's the pole. Look at this, look at the shopping carts become like coffee filters. I call them leaf filters, look at them. They just catch everything inside of them and then they just start filling up and filling up and the water goes through them. Here we got Home Depot again, Home Depot. Start taxing everybody. Every time you find a shopping cart, anytime I find a shopping cart over here, man, y'all gotta pay me, okay? I'm the shopping cart freaking police because you got to pay the piper. Somebody just decided to throw their whole kid's toy electronic truck in here. So as you guys can see, 
water comes down the Tahunga Wash this way, and the water also comes down this channel right here in the middle, and also this channel right here, okay? This channel's underground, so nobody can throw giant objects into the underground. Now they can throw other objects in there, like other trash that's gonna make it down into the storm drain tunnels. But this over here, it's an open channel that runs for a long distance, and this is where all the collection comes. You know, we saw a lot of trash, and we find a lot of trash constantly inside the channels here, in the Ellie River, and everywhere that I've shown you guys. And I thought about it the other day, and I thought to myself, at our house, where you, we all have trash men that come and pick up our trash when we're renting, or we are living at our house. But when you're homeless here, who's coming to pick up your trash? You know, where's your trash can at? There are dumpsters around from these different businesses and sure the homeless could go and put trash inside the dumpster, but then they're locked. Okay, the problem is, is people lock them because they don't want people filling up their dumpsters. The more you fill a dumpster up, the more you have to call the man to come and empty it and that costs. So where do you dump it? You dump it wherever you want, in the river. You dump it in the river, you don't have to see it again. Okay, if you live, think about this. If you live in your house and you want to clean things up, don't you feel good when things are tidied up and clean? So what do you do? You throw your trash over in the river, and then when the rain comes, it washes it all away, and you look over and you say, well, house is clean, you know? Thank you guys for watching and for all the new subscribers. Here's a sneak peek. I'll be taking you to how LA stores its water in the Tahunga spreading grounds. Going down. We're going to get a closer look because that's what we do. Oh, man. I said, get your butt back here now. And then I take you further south down the Tahunga Central Branch Wash and show you all the homeless camps along the Tiny Homes community and one drummer who was keeping the beat inside his tent. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment. Say something to me. I'll get you back up. Asta. Have a good one, y'all.